So, we meet again. I see you have your advisors with you. My lieutenants are by my side as well. What are your demands? First, the right of all workers to use the bathrooms when they need to, rather than have to wait until their lunch break. This is inhuman. Second, you must agree to run the new weaving machines at slower speeds. They are too dangerous. Finally, and most important, a 15% increase in the wages of all mill workers, regardless of job. This man should be on the stage. He is a true comedian. Boy, would I love to get some of the boys together and run him out of town! Let's take the smaller issues first. Why should we slow down the machines and hurt productivity? I'm sure you can see for yourself that these new machines are causing many more injuries. When they can't work, that hurts productivity even more! The machines are new and we are learning how they work best. We agree with you that they need to be slowed down. I wonder if Armbruster is being too agreeable here. This is good for both the mill and the workers. Bravo! Now, why should we change the bathroom policy? You should try working five hours without relief. I would not ask a dog to do that. It is a matter of human dignity. It's only fair to offer more breaks. We will agree to this. Wise move. This costs us nothing and earns us goodwill. Bah! Coddling these peasants, that's what it is. Ah, 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 the bosses are agreeing to everything we want. I need to consult with the owners. Let's take a short break. I see you are being extremely agreeable to them, Armbruster. These two demands were reasonable and will not affect our productivity. Now they have demanded a 15% pay raise. Outrageous! What will you tell them? Let's hear him out and then make our decision. You have understood our position so far. Now it is time to talk about our non-negotiable demands. Why do you think you should have more wages? It is known that the Boylstons are cheapskates who pay a very low wage. The managers are enriched, while the workers starve. Why do you think we don't pay enough? You are for the workers, so of course you would say that. You do not have to take my word for it. Look, your own payroll ledger tells the ugly truth. That's stolen property, those thieving little... All we ask is a 15% raise. A worker making $10 a week would get to take home eleven fifty. To the mill, that's nothing. A measly dollar and a half. I need to check the size of our payroll. Mabel, how many employees do we have? We have a thousand workers here, so our payroll is 40000 a month. You're asking us to spend more than 6000 a month extra at a time when we're losing business? That is not my problem, capitalist. You do not share profits with us, so why ask us to share the pain of your losses? Very well. You have made your demands. The management of the Boylston Mill will consider them carefully. We will telephone you with our reply in one hour.